The Anti-Procreationist by Anton Dubiel And the bombs are falling daily, and the bodies blow apart, and the bullets prattle gaily on their gruesome deadly arc, and you feel it's up to you, but there's nothing you can do. You feel you must do something to stem the growing tide, go and join the fighting, or help the frightened hide, and you feel it's up to you, but there's nothing you can do. They blab of peace and progress, they boast and strut and blare, but they always leave a mess and lead millions to despair. And you feel it's up to you, but there's nothing you can do. It's always been this way, and will probably never change. The surface changes shape, but the rotting core remains. And you feel it's up to you, but there's nothing you can do. Try to not contribute to the plans for making hell. Try to not buy into the lies warmongers sell. Though you feel it's up to you, there's very little you can do. Even if there came a tide to sweep the world to peace, it could never hide the price paid by centuries of grief. If you had never come to be, unborn, you would be free. Unborn, I'd leave the children I've never wished to have, unsaddled by the mortal path that plunges to the grave. Unborn, I'd leave all children to never have to slave. The joys of life are minimal, the pains are very great, the same for every animal in the world's estate, and I would not be party to such a dismal fate. For every grinning bourgeois splashing in his pool, several hundred humans must sign to be his tool, forced to either kill him or to eat his stool. No, let the unborn be, safely out of reach, far from the harms that foolish humans teach and the shameless horrors that history repeats. I hope that it gets better. I really, truly do. I hope we find the way to a better me and you. But the unborn have no need to wish that that were true. The force that got things going did not have in mind the longing and the suffering of a human kind, but went about its business clumsily and blind. Now we are the heirs of a long and brutal past, and can only follow history on its path, but need not force another into its bloody bath. I hear the market screaming how much it has to sell, and the hawkers hawking the pathway out of hell. But I have long stopped hoping for a hair-restoring gel. And I will see my days out the best that they can go, with my unasked ticket to the ghastly show crumpled in my pocket that no innocent need know.